All right, so my multiple backgrounds look pretty good when my browser is stretched all the way because um, every these guys start peeking from the left and the right over here as well as uh, up top over here. But if I resize my browser to, say, the iPad and portrait view, well, guess what? They're no longer there. Or what if I resize my browser to about iPhone? They're gone. Um, well... <laughs> That's not cool. I, I want the invaders to be present at all these different resolutions. Not only that, look look when it's about iPhone width. Uh, look at how big this spacing is all of a sudden. So uh, this just isn't going to do. So fortunately, well, there's going to be two things to before before that. There's going to be two things we need to do to fix this. For one, um, at this size, we need to change this. Um, uh, the padding up at the top and the bottom. So at the top I have nine. I could bring that to about four, uh, maybe, maybe even less. But uh, at the bottom I could have a little bit more uh, since it is the bottom. But seven would be about right. And let's see what that's going to look like. So, okay, that's that's a bit better because up top over here we're going to have some images. Uh, actually... Three would probably be even better. Okay, cool. And down at the bottom, the seven. Um, yeah, look at these things. Now they're looking kind of big too. Uh, no, no, we're gonna need a little more space there. So let's let's leave it to ten and see what what we get. Um, okay, let's just leave that. So we kind of fixed the top and the bottom, but now let's do something about these missing um, invader background. Well, fortunately. See, as I said before, the CSS background is really robust, and it has a background image value that we could apply to it. Um, and the background image accepts two values. Generally, I find myself using one. But you should know that the value accepts a length and a percent. And, and what it says when, when you look at what these things are actually uh, uh, equal to. It says the first, the length, the first value gives the width of the corresponding image. So length, 100%. The second value is its height. Uh, if only one value is, is given, the second is assumed to be auto. Percentage, this, this guy over here, is relative to the background image area. So let's do with with keeping that in mind let's go back up to our body over here and you could add this percentage um, over up over here in the shorthand but what gets confusing about that is because it competes you could also put percentages for your uh, for your positioning values and um, it's subjective whatever you want to do I like to take this out of the shorthand and and uh, define it manually, or I guess not manually, just outside of the shorthand version of it. So here's how background size is going to work in conjunction with the background images and what we have here. If I set 100% right now, that is going to mean that all three of these images are going to have 100%, almost like a, a cascade, if you will, right? So, but if I do commas in between them, like 100%, 50%, uh, an auto, for example, uh, that means that my first, the first URL, uh, the first image that I declared is going to get 100% value. The second is going to get 50, and the third is going to get auto. So, I don't know. Let's just use these values to at least see how this um, attribute works. So, if I go back here and I re reset it, okay, refresh it rather, we see that my top. Yeah, I like that. You see, now look at that. It's actually getting bigger and smaller with my browser. And then if I do the resize to the iPhone, all right, they're smaller. Now, let's see what we got down at the bottom. We got, uh, we set this to 50%, which I'm not sure what it does. You know, I mean, I'm not sure what the effect is. So let's get this opacity back in refresh it and let's see this in action okay there it is at the background of 50 percent let's do something extreme to see what it's actually going to do 250 oh duh okay i i see what's happening here i i actually changed the order of the barriers behind the scenes um but the barriers at 50 percent are just left small like that they're still repeating um but you know what? Look, look, it kind of messed this up over here. So 
Uh, let me set this to auto. Okay, now that puts it back. Yeah, now they're repeating back the way they should. But look at these little guys. What? Are, where are they at? They're at auto as well. Why don't we give them 100% and see what that does? Ah, look at that. So now they're 100% of the screen as well. Looks good to me. All right, so you see kind of what we're working with over here? Um, you know what I did? right before shooting this video is I actually ended up switching the order of my invaders and barriers because when I first made this I defined I well I inserted all of my images in the order that they that they are seen from top to bottom and I, I, I want to show you guys what happens uh, with this order this order uh, sort of defines the... Uh, I'm making a mess out of this. I hope I don't mess something up. Uh, the order that you've declared the background images in is uh, kind of like... The, it's also their stacking order. So uh, let me make sure that this syntax is right before I refresh and mess it up. Um, and, and I'll show you what happened. Because um, I had the invaders in the middle or the little mini invaders before the barriers uh, declared first. I'll refresh it. You see, look close. You see how now these black speckles are the, uh, the image that I have up here on top of these barriers, right? Because if you think about the top images up front and they kind of go further and further behind um, the, the way they're declared. So uh, in order to fix this and have this be totally green and have the invaders kind of falling behind this image, um, I just I just simply change the order that they're in because that doesn't really matter much. So um, if you find yourself in the same situation, be certain, because I remember it drove me nuts, be certain that each one of your uh, lines ends with a semicolon until you hit the very last line and that there's no colons in your shorthand over here. Now I think you could see how it kind of gets easily confusing and um, you should be good. So doing that we're back back in business not exactly what I wanted. Maybe I'll edit this a little bit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I see. Here's where I goofed. I need to put this on auto and put this guy on 100%. Yeah, there we go. And that gives me back the effect that I'm going for over here. Yeah, that works for me. So let me take out this opacity again. And the final result is better better responsive design over here essentially. Let me just refresh it and look at it in evil IE. Uh, no, it's not evil, but but let's see what it looks like even when it's small. Yeah, yeah, well it, it's it's honoring my my multiple backgrounds and my size very nicely.